Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Players from both sides going through final preparations. There was a little jawing going on out there earlier, but I think they were just talking about their gift bags. Kickoff coming in the Bevo Brady's Bowl. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. It looks like both teams are warmed up and ready to square off in this year's Beef O'Brady's Bowl. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Rico has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. He sends this one deep. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Johnson's the type of player that any coach would dream to have on their roster. And today could really be historic for him. He's on the verge of breaking a record here. He should be awfully proud of what he's been able to accomplish. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Tries to get around the corner, and he tackles him hard at the 28. You don't want to let your running backs keep getting in the loss of yardage situations. It'll wear down the best of them. From their own 28-yard line, third down. Around the 39-yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Got some open field. He's at the 40. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. That was a huge lift. Brad, you're right. A run like that can really get the momentum rolling. From the 28-yard line, first down. Newsom, the ball carrier. They'll bring him down at the 29. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Flipping. Offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Big opening! And they get nice yardage on that run. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. It's second and long. Ball on the 36-yard line. Nice play fake. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's at the 20. The 10. 
Knocked out of bounds at the five. They try him again, and this time they've got him in the backfield. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. Let's see how the quarterback handles this one. It's third and goal from the seven. And he just gets rid of it. Connecticut to take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and they tack on three points. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20, at the corner, at the 30. He gets hit out of bounds at the 49. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. Slings it. Has some daylight. Tackle made the 39-yard line. Screens work best when the offense allows the pass rush in. Then gets their blockers out in front. It's a simple plan, and it's very effective when everyone does what they're supposed to do. From the 39-yard line. First down. He's at the 30, and he's tackled around the 28-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28. Here's the toss. Nothing to it. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Quick strike to the receiver. Drop down the five-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he's got the touchdown. Oh, that's a great job of some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight. And it's tough to maneuver. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. And he's in for two. Great. 
Rico has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's hit and taken down. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leads us with a first and ten. He's pushed out of bounds around the 24-yard line. The Huskies saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. And he throws it away. They're about four yards away here on third down. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time. yard line. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. From the 14 yard line. It's first down. Back up quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Just throws this one away. The Huskies quarterback, we saw him taken out earlier down there on the sideline after being injured. I don't think he's in that much pain right now, though, and I would bet that he'll be back in the game before the day's done. He's got the corner. And that sets them up for the first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. The three. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Touchdown, UConn! on the extra point. So a nine-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Mayo is lined up to kick this one off. Taken at the five. He's got the corner. Across the 30. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he's tackled right away. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch.
Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Good awareness defensively that time by the linebacker. Not only that, but as you saw, he also made a very athletic move to get to the ball. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. And they make the stop at the 23-yard line. to the right he fights forward to about the 20 and that'll do it very good first quarter of action the Huskies in front by two back to the action now here in the second quarter up the middle for a nice game So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's taken down right around the two-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he's in there. Touchdown. PAT. An eight-play, 65-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Rico gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown. The other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. after a decent run up the gut. Another run. He's at midfield. And he's finally brought down at the 42-yard line. What a huge third down run. A big, big gain and a new set of downs to keep the drive alive. From the 42-yard line, first down. Complete. He's got room. He's knocked out of bounds around the 19-yard line. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. And he hits him hard at the two. Crowd in that line of scrimmage. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Connecticut is up one. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for. 
for the kickoff. Carter takes it at the four. He's to the 20. Looking for the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 28. Well, I wouldn't make a trip to the refrigerator right now because of the way these offenses are playing. We might have a record breaker before this one's over. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Great call on defense to mix things up. Yeah, the corner blitz really caught him off guard that time. So the sack makes this a second and long. He wants it all. Great concentration to haul it in. To the 10. He scores. What a play. That last catch gives him 100 yards receiving. I think the quarterback and this receiver right now are clearly in the zone. The defense needs to do a better job of adjusting their defense to be able to slow him down. He now has over 100 yards receiving in this game. And we're still in the first half, so there's a lot of time left for this kid to build on those statistics. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Here's a give up the middle, tackled right away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 28-yard line. scrambling and down he goes around the 38 yard line first and 10 ball on the 38 yard line Johnson on the run and they'll get him in the backfield three-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Got a man. Watch out here. They'll bring him down at the 35. And so it's another third down upcoming here. <laughs> Tackle. 
tackle made around the 12 yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is the third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Nice run there. The Huskies use their second timeout. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Hand off. Brought down quickly. He scrambled. And he's tackled at the five. At this point, boys, you're playing against the defense and the clock. So you might want to consider to hurry things up. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. The Vandals taking their first time out of the half. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Even though they gave up the field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Connecticut is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 28. Last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Let's it fly. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 28. down after a nice run up the middle. We've seen quite a bit of offense here as we reach halftime. The Vandals in front by two. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. Caught at the 8. And down he goes at the 29. The offense is on its way out on the field again, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. It's second and 12. Ball on the 27. Can't get away from the pressure. Fired quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle at the 33-yard line. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Brought down at the 23.
takes it to the 22-yard line. And the tailback picks up the first down. Not a huge run, but enough to move the chains, and that's all that matters. It's first and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. He's tackled right around the 20. out to about the 11-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they make the stop at about the five-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. And it pays off. Touchdown. It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. Here's the extra point that will make it a two-score game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Rico ready to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Huskies having everything going their way right now. They have put up 20 straight points on the board. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's gobbled up in the backfield. receiver and he can't make the grab. Greenwood was the intended target. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well. Oliver back to return it. Signals for a fair catch. really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Makes it out to about the 50. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From midfield, it's first down. to his receiver in a hurry. That reception good for seven yards. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Here's a running play. And they push him out at about the 29-yard line.
from the 29 yard line. First down. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for five yards. That brings up second and five. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is. The offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Kicks away, and he just drilled it from long range. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, second down. They'll give it off here. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. It's out to around the 28. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. First and 10, ball on the 28. Catches it, and he's punished. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Tries to get around the corner. Nice run to the outside. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 17. They'll go Brown. Bounces off a would-be tackler. He makes his way out to about the nine. Don't leave yet, folks. We still got one more quarter to go. The Vandals lead it by 12. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. to the back and hit hard for a loss. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And they got him for a loss. 
Anytime a running back gets one-on-one -on -one with a safety, I think that running back has the confidence in his own athletic ability to be able to make that safety miss and, and get upfield for some yards. That time, the safety just dominated him, made a great tackle in the backfield for a short loss. Now he's scrambling. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the six-yard line. and goal and they need a touchdown here to get back in this game and he throws it away the defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush and that time it paid off with an incompletion This is the 11th play of this drive. Over the middle, got it, touchdown. the PAT. So an 11 play, 76 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. Mayo is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 23 yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Here's a handoff, left side. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on the 24-yard line. Gets out to around the 32. down yardage off the option and more importantly enough for a new set of downs first down 10 yards to go ball on the 37 yard line and he's taken down at about the 39 yard line He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. From the 49-yard line, first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. That brings up second and five. Six yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Quick pass, and down he goes at the 31. 
from the 31 yard line. Second down. Can't wrap him up. He's pushed out of bounds around the 19 yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Less than three minutes in the game. Tackle made around the 20-yard line. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. From the 20-yard line, it's second down. Gets the call again. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. He's at 100 yards rushing for the day. They've been playing for this all season, and he knows he's got to be at his very best on every play. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle right around the 12-yard line. Connecticut will have one timeout remaining. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and he's got it. Draco has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And for Johnson, he's had a very good night running the ball. <laughs> You're right, Brad. And this guy's kind of a spark plug in this offense. And right now, he's got him firing on all cylinders. The thing that I love about this back that you just don't see every week is this kid's determination. Every single time he gets his hands on the ball, he's giving you everything that he has. And right now, that effort and that attitude is too much for this defense to slow down. Zips it to the tight end. We've got a first and 10. All on their own 36. Just under two minutes in the game. And they make the stop at the 40-yard line. the ball third and six ball on the 40 yard line he's gonna air it long no incomplete even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. The Vandals will use their first time out of the half. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He's going to try and scramble. Sacked, and they'll turn it over. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. Hey, it's the last game of the season. Might as well pull out all the stops. That's a great play by the defense. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. run there as they work the outside. The Huskies using their third and final timeout. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Just over a minute left. Gives it to the back. Makes it to the 17. And it was the running back there who did it all by himself. And when he's finding space and room to run, that is when this halfback is at his best. Give to the tailback. 
Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 13. And he's tackled after positive yardage. A big, big score here late in the fourth quarter, and now they've given themselves some breathing room in this football game. And he converts the extra point. It was a five-play, 34-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Rico has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. We have less than a minute to go. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. He chucks it downfield. From the one-yard line, second down. The defense has five men up front looking for a big goal line stop here. He can't hang on. Incomplete. fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. They're looking to defend that goal line with five defensive linemen. Touchdown, UConn! So the touchdown makes this one a little bit closer. It's just too bad they couldn't get a few more of these a little earlier in the game. Yeah, they'll certainly be able to take some positives out of this game. And you always learn more from losing than you do from winning. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. They'll stack the line of scrimmage, trying to keep them out of that end zone. And they won't get the two. A nice seven-play, 75-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. He's tackled at the 42. 
illegal touching offense. Still first down. This offense really ran the ball well as they finished off their last drive with a touchdown. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. 